What's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to give you the perfect repricing strategy for booksellers step by step. This is a repricing strategy that I've been using for years, and I'm here with Samuel from Be Cool. And I really like Be Cool because it's a simplified software. It's got a super easy user interface. Unlike a lot of other softwares I've used in the past, they're either kind of glitchy or they're really powerful, but they're just kind of complicated for my students and even myself to use. And I always have to, you know, ask their support for questions. And one thing I love about Be Cool is just how simple the user interface is. So I've actually bought, brought Samuel on my channel today to show you guys exactly how to use Be Cool and uh, how you can use it with GoToLister as well. So welcome to the channel, Samuel. Oh, I'm super excited, uh, Robert. We're going to be covering a lot today. We're going to be covering step by step. How do you set up Romer's role? We'll also talk a little bit about who Be Cool is. Why should you use Be Cool if you're using another repricer right now? And then we're going to end up with showing you some results that people already have. So what I wanted to share first here, I have um, prepared some slides so everyone can follow along very easily. And we also have a free handout showing Romer's rules, which we're going to be sharing later as well. Why should you use Be Cool? I think for the reason that we have a lot of different repricing strategies that you could use. We have rule base. Uh, we also have AI, which is pretty mature. We've had it for three years already. Uh, we've been in the industry for more than 10 years. Uh, we also have a large number of AI engineers, and we have a 14-day free trial. No credit card is needed, so there isn't a lot of risk. Robert, why did you decide to st try to start using Be Cool in the first place, just for our audience? Yeah, again, it's just really simple. I've had a few friends use it and it's by far like the simplest user interface. So I have my rules that I know I like to use for repricing. And I talked to you guys, you reached out to me and you said you could set them up. And um, yeah, that's, that's primarily the reason why. I'm also excited about the AI stuff. So if you can kind of explain what that is. Yeah, absolutely. And we wanted to share that, for example, uh, Be Cool is one of the repricers that Scott Neham, a big shout out to him. And nice. I know you have a special relationship with uh, yep. Scott Needham. I got to say that we're not the only repricer, but we're one of the repricers that he recommends as well. It's very safe, very secure. And then if you're coming from another repricer, we do have different advantages just to want to let you know for example we have five preset if you're using our rule base including the match buy box and we also have a handout for rule base as well if you're using that you don't need a credit card so you could actually start using go for a test ride make sure you're happy make sure you're getting the results you want before you commit and we also have a lot of different filters and grouping as well. And we have a very nice interface, as you mentioned earlier. And we start at $25, which is one of the most affordable in the industry. And we give you a thousand listings, which is twice as much as some of the other repricers in the market. And then if you go to our AI plan, we actually have eight different AI rules, which we'll explain. We have the AI 1.0 when you're trying to win the buy box, get sales. We have the AI 2.0 when you're trying to match the buy box and go above the buy box price. We also could automatically reset your min price, which will save you a lot of time, as well as having a very advanced scheduler, which we're going to demo very soon. And we're approved by Amazon, and we start at $50. And at $100, we're going to reprice as fast as is possibly that you can. It's a great option, a great investment. Uh, and I just wanted to share the different type of repricing rules that we have. So we have the rule base, which uh, we had for over 10 years already. And then we also have the AI powered, which is the AI 1.0. And this was developed three years ago. So it's quite mature, as you know, like for example, chat GPT, uh, you know, it's been out and now there's the next version. Uh, and then we have the AI 2.0, which is the next version of AI. And then it's the conditional repricing, uh, which is the most advanced combining both AI 1.0 and AI 2.0. And that's what we're going to do I mean, that's, what, that's how we're going to show uh, Romer's rule. And then just uh, to set up, you know, from step one here, when you first sign up, and I'm going to share my screen so you guys could easily follow along, this is what you're going to see. You can see that we have the live chat here uh, for different support options. Uh, and you just have to click on start free trial, and this will actually start your free trial. Once you click on start free trial, then you click on start free trial for repricing central. Uh, and then this way, uh, you can just use your email and you can set up. And then when you go back into um, uh, your email, you're going to actually get an email that will show you that, um, that you've already signed up. 
And then here, you just have to connect to your Amazon store. Uh, this will connect to the Amazon store and pull all the data into our BeQuo software. And then, then you're going to go into the active listing. So in the active listing, it's really simple to get started. Uh, you can see the different interface right here. Let me just go back into the software so that all of you guys could see. We have the software here. And then here I'm opening up the screen here to go to the getting started. And this is what you're going to see when you first uh, start out here. Inside the active listing, we pulled in all of the listings that you have in Amazon. And then we're going to just show you a real quick demo of how you could get started you know, in less than a few minutes. So if you have a lot of books that you're selling, uh, you're going to pull in all the active listings that you have on Amazon into this place. And then you have to set a min price, a max price, and pick a rule. Uh, so for example, let's say you got the product for a dollar, let's say from Goodwills or somewhere else, and you've checked Keepa or you, you know that this book you know, sells for a certain price, and let's say you're selling it for let's like, $8. And then for your max price, maybe you put like $14 here. So it's really good to use the go-to lister because you'll be able to have smart pricing. Uh, you'll know exactly you know, what your price plus shipping should be right here. And then you could pick a uh, Romer's rule here. And so we're going to show you how to use Romer's rule right now, how to set it up. We actually set it up already, but we're nice. just going to walk you through how to do that. So to set up Romer's rule, uh, you go into the repricing rules, you click that, and you click on add new rule. And this will bring you to this place where you could add different type of rules. Now, Romer, I want to ask you for the repricing setting, how do you reprice and what's the philosophy behind the reason that you should reprice that way? Mm -hmm. So for the first 30 days, we actually like to keep the price the same. And I learned this from my mentor, Caleb Roth. I used to go and do book deals with him back in the day. And I noticed that his wife would scan the book and then manually price it in the listing software she was using. And I was like, I, I thought that was really interesting. I'm like, why is she manually pricing it? And the reason why was because Caleb did a study like a year prior, a study where he looked at two different sets of books and he found out, he, he sent both to Amazon and he, he had one with the repricer and one without, and he found out a lot of books just never get repriced. So the first price you set is very important. Um, and, and on top of that, if the book does get repriced, sometimes it reprices too low. And so we're very, we're being very intentional about that first price we set. Cause a lot of times if you're the only FBA offer, then you can price the book a little bit higher, maybe 10, 20, 30% higher. So what we want to do is price our books at the price that's going to make us the most profit and let it sit for at least 30 days before adjusting the price. That's fantastic. So let's set up the first part of that rule so it could get as much profit as you can for the first 30 days. So inside the Be Cool software, we're going to click on AI Powered Match Buy Box. And what AI Powered Match Buy Box does is it's going to reprice to the buy box price and then go above it. It's going to reprice incrementally down to the buy box price. And then we're going to select AI Grow Profit here, and we're going to call it Romer's uh, Rule for Booksellers. And then we're going to go to next. And then in the next part here, we're going to set up like kind of like a scheduler where you could reprice up uh, proactively. And then so here we have a apply price looping strategy that we could do. And then Romer, let me ask you, well, what's the reason that you recommend people to reprice up? You just want to schedule them so you could actually use an oscillation strategy to try to price the book higher at different times of the day. Like, yeah. What's yeah. the so reason behind that? Every night we like to reprice our books to the max price. And the reasoning for that is let's say there's no FBA offers on the listing. If you price up to your max price at midnight, you're either going to win the buy box at that price or somebody else is going to buy box at a higher price than you, hopefully. And then the next day when it goes back down, the price is now higher. So Scott Needham explains it like if you never give the prices a chance to recover, they're never going to recover. So give them a chance. There's a bunch of different scenarios. Maybe you price up, the guy at the bottom sells out, and then the next morning you're the next price. So that's the general idea behind it. Got it. Yeah, that's fantastic. So uh, for our repricer here, uh, you could raise your price um, up to eight times a day. 
you know, and for our training purpose here, we're going to raise it maybe three times a day. So every eight hours, and then we're going to raise it maybe to the buy box price plus, let's say maybe 10%. Yeah, just as an example. And you can use different methods as you want here. And you could keep your price, uh, maybe let's say for 60 minutes. Uh, so this is going to reprice up three times a day. You could also select different times of the day if you want by picking the different hours. And then, then we're going to go down here when buy box is suppressed. Uh, and that when buy box is suppressed, you mentioned that if you're the only FBA seller, you want to price it higher than, let's say, other FBM sellers. And so here... In the setting here, we're going to pick a uh, lowest price. And when you pick lowest price, uh, it's going to compete only with the same type of competition. Nice. So if you're FBA, it would only compete against other FBA. Uh, so in our example, let's say we want to be 20% higher than the other FBA that's on here. Uh, we could actually set it up like this. Uh, and then, then we could go to next. And then so this is the first part of the rule. And then we're going to save and finish. So now we have the first part of the rule. Now we're going to move to the second part uh, where let's say it's already been maybe 30 days, maybe 60 days. Uh, and now you actually need to, you know, reprice more aggressively to get the buy box. So in order to set that up, we're going to go add new rule again. So we did the first part and now we're in step two and step two, we're going to use conditional repricing, uh, which is right here, conditional repricing and under conditional repricing, we're going to uh, select inventory age conditions. Uh, Romer, why why should we reprice more aggressively as the time progress? Like for a, a new seller, why why should they do that? Yeah, because you want to sell your inventory and get paid. Uh, exactly, right? Because you know it's about having profit first, right? You got to pay mm -hmm. yourself. You know, you're in this business to make make money, uh, and then hey, so profit first, here, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then so we have the inventory age conditions. Uh, and I'm going to call this the inventory age conditions, uh, Romer's rule for booksellers. Uh, and then I go to next. And then here is really simple and easy. You don't have to do a lot of too much settings here. Uh, we're going to use the default, but we're going to make some modifications uh, because um, this is from a seven figure bookseller that we're talking about here. So for here, we're going to pick estimated profit and we're going to select $1.80. And then why do we pick $1.80? Not like other amounts. That's the that's the removal fee currently, and it's only going to go up as time goes on. But if you go to remove a book, the book uh, it, it charges you a dollar eighty at Amazon. Got it. Okay, so we're, if it's after let's say between ninety days and above, and you do want to get the turnover, so you can actually get the cash back. Uh, maybe you have to pay your credit card. Maybe you have other opportunities that you want to invest your money in. Is there a way to make that a negative dollar eighty? Because like. We want yeah, to, yeah, my, my sure. idea was we want to make it so the book sells at a dollar 80 cent loss, because if you're going to pay a dollar 80 to remove the book, you might as well sell it and get, get that back. Like if you can sell the book and Amazon right. only charges you a dollar 50, that's better than, you know, cause if you're like, I'm not going to have my repricer ever go below uh, $0. So I, I want to at least break even. Well, sometimes it's smarter to sell the book at a loss. And instead of paying a dollar eighty for Amazon to remove the book, now you're only paying a dollar fifty. So that's the idea behind the dollar eighty. So it should be a negative dollar eighty. Got it. So that's a special tip if you're watching this. You got to set up a dollar eighty. Uh, it's great to at least sell the book. Uh, you could possibly get, you know, feedback. You could, you know, you could improve your account. You have better maybe IPI scores. Uh, for you know, for your Amazon account as well. Uh, so here we put a dollar eighty, and we picked rule plus min price, uh, and then we set it at the AI sales maximizer, which is the most aggressive rule that we have. Now, when we come back down here, uh, between uh, zero and thirty days, we had set up the AI two point zero rules, which is focused on profits, uh, which is not going to go lower than the buy box price. And we're going to go down here and we're going to pick AI grow profit Romer's rule for booksellers right here. And then uh, you're done. Yeah, pretty much. And you go to next. We save and finish. And now you could just apply that rule uh, to your listing. Now we have several ways to apply that rule. I'm just going to go back into our uh, managed listing here. So if it's for this product, um, I just have to go to the rule right here. And I'm going to, um, I actually probably have to refresh, but I'm going to pick the inventory age uh, rule 
uh, for booksellers, uh, for Romer for booksellers. And then I just have to save that and it'll start repricing according to those specific rules. So is that simple? Is that easy? We also have a rule-based handout, uh, but um, here you can take a quick shot if you know you have a limited budget and you just want to match buy box. But if you want to use Romer's rule, uh, this is the way to set up Romer's AI rule. Uh, you could do this in this way, so you could see that on the screen here. But we're gonna change that to a dollar eighty. Yeah, so we're gonna change it to a negative a dollar eighty. Uh, so and that's pretty much how you set up Romer's rule. Yeah, we're, we'll provide a template, and then the, your students and people who watch this, they can uh, follow the same settings. Uh, and then it, it, it's just it, it won't take a lot of time. Just just the time that it took me, uh, probably faster. Uh, just using the inventory age and they can change it to make it Romer's uh, inventory age AI rules uh, for booksellers. Yeah, so um, yeah, there'll, there'll be a handout. And then um, so you, you guys got to comment. You guys got to look at the description. You guys got to subscribe to Romer's channel to be able to receive this free handout. Yeah. <laughs> and then, so let me share some results that, that we have from some successful sellers already. We have several booksellers. Uh, we already have, there's one called Dan and he's a six figure bookseller. And he said, you know, his buy box, he gets the buy box a lot higher at 75%. Uh, then we also have Sarah, another bookseller. She's a six figure bookseller. And she said that uh, she doubled the amount of books that she sold. Uh, and we also have other customers from other industries, other categories doing apparel and also for doing OA. Uh, in Europe as well. So we have a lot of booksellers who have a lot of success. This is just some of the customers that we've already done videos with that you could go and look at You know the results that they've already received. And I wanted to show you guys the actual result. So right here, if you look on my screen, you can see that this current seller, he owns the buy box at $197.49. This is a pretty rare book and it doesn't have a very high bestseller rank, but he owns the buy box. He's beating you know, some other FBM sellers, a non-featured seller, but he's priced at one penny under the next FBA seller, which has a much better positive rating and also have a total ratings of 5,000 plus. So they have a much better account. And you can see how it actually works right here. It's not the lowest price. Uh, and how does our AI work? The AI will go in, it would take the buy box and then it will start raising the price. And then when it loses the buy box, then it's going to lower the price a little bit by different amounts. And then it's going to try to get the buy box again to get you that sales. Uh, so as a result, this seller was able to sell this book and then their buy box win percentage uh, went up by maybe 10%. And on average for the people who move from rule base to AI, we see an increase between 12 to 20% increase in the buy box. And we have a lot of other examples just like this as well. So I could share more if you want, but we were very happy to help with all the booksellers. And Romer, do you have any questions about our repricer? Not really. I mean, I, I, I just want to highlight the point that this software, number one, it's really simple. Number two, it's got AI, which I'm not 100% sure how it works, but I know it does reprice higher and any excuse to reprice higher is good so if if there's a feature the repricer has that allows you to reprice higher for any reason at all that's always good um, you saw that you can compare to fba offer one and if you want you can price above that so that's something interesting you can do for textbooks and then at nighttime or during the day you can also reprice up so these are all really good things um, a lot of people use really basic repricers in, in the book world, and this is a little bit more complex. And I really like those two reasons that it tries to reprice up. And I think that that's, you know, give it a 14 day free trial and see how it goes. You got nothing to lose. Just put your, no, you don't even put your credit card in. It's, it's a hundred percent free trial. So try it out and, you know, see if you get sales, see if it, if you're using a, a repricer now. Um, turn it off, try be cool and see, you know, see if it works better, you know, trial and error. So thank you so much. Yeah, it's fantastic. Absolutely. And, you know, we will also show you how you could use go to Lister and then download all their books and then put them into be cool on our channel, on our be cool channel. So thanks a lot for your time today, Robert. And then uh, we do have something special, Robert's community and Robert's audience. Uh, we're going to give away uh, six months. Uh, repricing of our $100 plan uh, six months for new 
be cool customers. So if you're coming from a different repricer, you're coming, if you're not using a repricer uh, and you watch video, you watch this video and, uh, you know, through, through Rober, we're going to give out the special giveaway worth $600. Yeah. Awesome. So, you know, you definitely could, uh, what you got to do, like what, what should they do, Rober, and able to get, uh, be, be in the $600 lucky giveaway? Yeah. So all you got to do is just email us. Uh, this is what we do for all of our giveaways at support at gotolister.com. Be cool giveaway. That's it. And make sure you use the same email that you signed up with Be Cool with to email us and we'll get a tally and we'll get that over to Be Cool and we'll announce the winner. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, so all you have to do is just uh, email you know, support at gotolister.com to increase your chances. Definitely comment in this video. Yeah. Uh, you know, why should you move from another repricer to Be Cool so that we know that you are really eager and I think it's going to be great. Yeah, the future is bright. So we look forward to seeing you guys. Thanks a lot for your time today, Rober. Awesome. Thank you, guys.